Missouri voters will head to the polls tomorrow for the primary election. Several candidates are running for Governor Mike Parson's seat, and we asked them about what Parson describes as the state's biggest economic challenge. Missouri Capitol Bureau Chief Joe McLean hears from the candidates tonight. Yeah, the governor repeated that several times throughout the year. The child care is the number one issue affecting uh, families, particularly affecting Missouri's workforce. And now it's an issue the next governor is likely going to have to tackle. Sure, that is probably one of the main issues facing all parents. And I will say you all businesses. The number one reason people don't go to work is because of that adequate child care. So how is the next governor going to tackle it? We asked the leading candidates for governor for their plans to expand access to child care options. Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft says it starts with tax cuts. And let the people have their own money to spend it on child care if they want or maybe that means that they have enough money so one parent can just stay at home and take care of their child themselves. A very similar message from Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe. Kehoe's strategy involves creating more public-private partnerships to help make having a child care business more economically viable in the state. We're going to figure out ways to let small businesses get into the child care business with partners with existing child care providers. We think we can open up that capacity and put more Missourians to work. State Senator Bill Eigel's plan mirrors Ashcroft's. Provide tax cuts and that will naturally lead to more people being able to afford child care. If we lower the tax burden, if we get rid of personal property tax, if we get rid of income taxes, Missouri is going to start growing uh, instead of uh, stagnating like it is. Democrat Crystal Quaid said she agrees with tax relief, but more specifically, the bipartisan child care tax credits Governor Parson pushed the legislature to pass, but ultimately failed. I think we need to be looking at things like universal pre-K for folks, looking at our child care subsidies, what are the salaries that we're paying our child care workers, and looking at other tax credits as well to have a deeper discussion around this issue. Now, we also reached out to uh, Democratic candidate Mike Hamra uh, for his comment. He had a death in the family over the weekend, was not available today. But primaries are, of course, tomorrow. Polls close at 7 p.m. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Joe McLean, WGEM.